or Volkswagen. Helping make your life easier. Moms every day. Monarch butterflies and many others are losing habitat and shrinking in number. Monarchs need native milkweed plants to survive, and by watching their awe-inspiring transformation, we can help out and have fun. Benjamin Vogt is here from Monarch Gardens to talk about the beautiful monarch butterfly. Glad to have you here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, well, this is cool. So you are an English teacher, professor by day, mm -hmm. and then you work with these monarchs on the side. Absolutely, working with monarchs and native plants and prairie preservation, things like that. Okay, so I know so many families enjoy maybe catching uh, a caterpillar and then watching the transformation. So what do they eat if we want to catch one and take care of one? <laughs> and raise them. The yeah. uh, only thing monarchs can eat are milkweed and there's all kinds of different milkweed species. They eat the leaves off of the plant and chow down and grow up and that's the only thing they can eat and there's all kinds of different milkweed species that work to raise them but I have found that swamp milkweed is probably the best one for them. And that's why we're having a problem because we can't find as much milkweed anymore, is it? Yeah, well there's a lot of, uh, you know, we're converting a lot of land to, you know, to agriculture mm -hmm. and homes and whatnot so there's a lot less milkweed out there so it's important that we keep giving them milkweed so they can keep migrating all the way from Canada down to Mexico every year and then back again. Mm -hmm. And so. so what can we do? How can we help? We can plant milkweed and we can plant other native plants that attract them for nectar sources and whatnot. Um, yeah, and just make sure that we don't use pesticides and chemicals in our yards and gardens. That's really important because they're very sensitive, that sort of thing. All right, so let's say we find a caterpillar. What kind of container can we put it in? Oh, any kind of container, you know. You probably want it to be clear so your kids can come in and see it and look at it and take care of it. Um, I have used old uh, sandwich lunch meat containers, plastic containers. Uh -huh. But actually what I have is a 10-gallon aquarium with a little metal mesh screen on the top, and I will have, you know, 30 or 40 monarchs in there at once. So <laughs> I know we cut one and put it in a little screened container, and our, my kids named it, loved it. Yeah, I love it too. You know, I wish I could name all of them, but you know. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> so how long does it take for that transformation to become the butterfly? Well, the bonnet butterfly will come lay eggs on the milkweed and the eggs will hatch in two or three days. They look like little sesame seeds, uh, half sesame seeds, and then they'll grow up. Um, take about two weeks for them to grow up and they'll, go, they'll get bigger five different times. They'll, skin, you know, they'll lose their skin five different times and then they'll turn to chrysalis. They'll be in the chrysalis for 10 to 14 days. And then they'll come out and you got a butterfly. And this will be over the spring and summer here and into the fall? Yeah, they'll start, the butterflies will start coming in early May and they'll keep laying eggs the whole summer long and then they'll all leave at the end of September to go down to Mexico where they roost in trees for the winter. And so. let's talk about some of the appearances where you're gonna be this spring. Yeah, I wanna be talking about butterfly gardening at, uh, at uh, Husker Lawn and Leisure Show. Uh, also at Finky Gardens, I'll be talking about native plants, and then my garden's going to be on a Garden Club of Lincoln tour on June 8th, and I'll have free native plants that monarch butterflies like for people to come get. Oh, sounds great. Well, thank yeah. you for all of this. Yeah. Yeah, it's been fun, and if you'd like to have more information on butterflies or monarch gardens, you can visit MomsEveryDay.com or download the Moms Every Day app. Visit Moms Every Day online or on the go through our Moms Every Day app. Download it today to find local solutions for you and your family. Today's Moms Every Day, Rain or Shine.